hopefully you can hear me now. I tried this before with the old, not old, but a different external microphone and it didn't work at all, so. With all that being said then, I'm on my way to Starbucks of all places to meet up with uh, Jordan, Dylan, Emmett. You know, you same old, same old. And from there, I think we're just going to the mall, but I figured I'd film a little vlog since I finally can do a moto vlog. It's, I was supposed to have all my gear set up by the time I got my reveal out. And I did, I did have all the gear to make a proper riding videos. And to my surprise, I filmed two videos which had no my like no audio from my helmet. And it was just well, actually, no audio at all. So I was really frustrated by that. Bought a proper external microphone, not a ten dollar one. So this is like a Sony thing or something. I don't know. Anyway, it should work better. Yes, if you can hear me right now, it's working better. <laughs> R3 didn't get as much attention as, say, the Ranger. But I, I only have one, two videos up on the bike so far at this point when I'm filming, I think. So it's hard to say, because I know when I first got the Ranger, it didn't get a whole lot of views. But then as time went on, now the Ranger is the center point of my channel, so. Am I selling the Ranger? No. No, I'm not selling the Ranger. No, it's not going anywhere. It's still gonna be on the channel. Still have videos to make with it. I think Jordan's bringing his bike out, the uh, FZ09. I love this R3. It's a great bike. I think I talked a slight bit about my buying process of the bike in a video so far already. But just to kind of summarize, I was originally looking at a Ninja 250. I'm very happy I didn't get one. No offense to anyone who has one. They're great bikes, but you get old of it and tired of it fast. I couldn't imagine, like I'm on a 321, which is what the R3 is. I couldn't imagine being on a 250. I, uh, this bike already is kind of old news. It's also so much fun to ride, so no, I don't really mind it, but this bike I bought with everything I wanted done to it, already done to it, which kind of was like a catch 22 because it had the tail tidy and LED side marker upgrades, which are smoked, which looks great, but the previous owner or whoever of the previous two owners did it, did it poorly. And the wiring was like, it was basically just tied together with no protective like tubing or tape or nothing. It was just tied together. Um, and I found that out when I pushed the side marker light on this side, the right side, against the cardboard box and it pushed it out of place and it severed the wire. So I had to go in there and wire it properly with a uh, shrink wrap tube. But aside from that, this bike has been good. It came with the slip-on exhaust from, uh, was it Hot Bodies slip-on? Which sounds great. I know when my girlfriend Taylor took it for a ride in the parking lot, I got to hear it from the outside for once much louder than I thought. So far I don't see anybody there. Oh my goodness. Look all the room in front of you. This car is close. Wow. Hello. I don't know where Jordan is. He hasn't really existed. Wow. wow. I don't know. Something off the road. I guess. What? What was. People honking at yeah, him. who's honking? I think he knows something's wrong with this car. Get on that. There's a Urus! The Lamborghini Urus SUV. I need gas first. Ow! There's some sh all over this road. Something here. See this house? It has a nice gate. Nice gated driveway, but like. They don't have a gate anywhere else, so I, um, it's quite easy to go around that gate. It's electric, too. I'm not sure. It looks sweet, but I mean, it's not really serving a big purpose. No. $12 should be good. Look at that. <laughs> go tell them. Go say, hey, I'll buy your car. I forgot what gas I put in this. <laughs> For a second. Oh, let's see if it'll take all of it. Is it like oh yeah, you can see it. Oh, it's way right there. We're getting close. Okay, that's way. That's no more. 
like right there. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Come on. Yes! It took all of it. Nice. It's overflowing just a bit. Once I tilt the bike straight up, it'll be fine. Shortcut. Who's leading? Me? I can't. No! Go right. You have to go right. You can't go left! The, the sign! We have to turn around. Just whip a U-turn. I'll lead. Oh, there's a Gen 1 Viper. The Viper! The Viper! <laughs> the car! Yeah! There we go! <laughs> The Pops by Emmett's Mustang. That thing is so sweet. That thing is sweet. Oh, yeah, buddy. Thank you for just saying double meal. Can I help you? We're going to get our food and then we're going to then we're going over to the Skyline Tower, which is like a mini version of the CN Tower. So I'll just catch up with you guys once we're there. <laughs> and Jordan's here meeting us. Like I said earlier on his FZ09, he was just falling asleep, or he fell asleep. You want this burger? Yeah. No. I walk around in this, in this <laughs> skyline and be like, dude, I bought this burger. I can't eat it. Um, now. Open seat. After this? Yeah. I don't know. It's a turbo bike. Turbo it's a diesel, diesel, actually. It like, takes off. Is this a movie theater? <laughs> <laughs> what? Perfect. Yo, it's Oh, just this person might be. Aren't you a shuttle, too? <laughs> Can we just go aside? <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, of course. And then, like, LEDs underneath it. This is kind of cool. Alright. Done at the Skyline. 